Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crystal Collects, and in this video, I'll be opening up the South Korean exclusive Silverlands Jet Black Box. And yes, it is simple as it sounds, the Silverlands and Jet Black Box, only because it includes six booster packs of Korean Silverlands and also six booster packs of Korean Jet Black Poltergeist. In addition, you also get three promo cards, one of which is either a Shadow Rider or Ice Rider Calyrex, as well as two trainer cards, and last but not least, a coin featuring either Ice Rider or Shadow Rider Calyrex. So the promos and the coin will be given at random. It's going to be either or. But also, in addition to make things interesting, I'm going to also include 15 booster packs of Korean Jet Black Poltergeist in this video, only because the box itself only comes with 12 booster packs. And with that being said, I'm not sure if you can pull a secret rare. I'm not too sure what the pull rates are like. But with that being said, in terms of chase cards, I'm still after that VMAX Calyrex Shadow Rider alternate art. So hopefully we'll get that in this video if we're lucky. That's also why I got the Korean Jet Black Poltergeist as an alternative. So before we get started with the unboxing, please make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language Pokemon openings. All right, so we have the nice and simple Silver Lance and Jet Black box. I'm just going to go ahead and take the plastic off so you guys can see all the specs better. Actually, one thing that's actually pretty cool, so... And they take the plastic off so one side is blue like silver lance and the other one is purple so that's pretty fancy the size reminds me of those um shiny crowbat boxes from shiny star v so um it's really cool that they managed to fit 12 booster packs well there you go and i believe the promo will be there as well it looks just like the crowbat box it's actually, actually a sexy box it's actually really nice too good quality cool. and i believe we have the promo actually <gasps> And we got my favorite out of the two, sorry for the bang guys, but we got Shadow Rider Calyrex and also the artwork's gonna be the same as those jumbo packs that you saw in Japanese. I actually love so the box though. It's really nice right for card storage. Yeah, definitely. And okay, that's, so let's take a look here. So we have the lovely promo and we have a reverse hollow foil horror energy and also suspicious food tin. So those are your other promo trainer cards that you get and I have the matching sleeves. So this is very nice. Hit the like button for us, probably my favorite. And a look at that, we have the coin of Shadow Rider Calyrex, just Calyrex of course, not a uh, spectre in an interesting ziploc bag so we'll put that to the side and let's get on to the opening i'm definitely looking forward to see what we pull hopefully at least some v cards but if no secret rare is pulled we'll definitely get to those 15 booster packs of jet black pull guys pull rates are pretty unknown honestly unknown and also no advertisements as far as i see okay so we have a tim pull we have a cute little grookey we have coughing we have gold duck oh and a malamar very nice okay so as you can see too yellow borders and i've already explained these sets already as i did open each of these sets on my channel so if you want more information be sure to check out those videos if you haven't already and i think we have a v card here so let's see All right. very nice starting off strong okay we have rapid strike scroll oh wow and the original shadow rider calyrex number 36 out of 70. Nice. if you haven't hit the like button please do so already because we got two shadow rider calyrexes somehow all right, imagine we get the full, I mean, not the full art, the alt art, the VMAX. That's dreaming the one I'm really right there. dreaming big. Always got to dream big. big. Expect little, but dream big. You know what I mean? Okay, we have Crib Brawler. We have Ghastly. There's also a lovely Pentom in this set. So hopefully we'll pull that end. Lovely Talonflame in the normal typing. And then we also have Silver Lens. I'm also still after that Ice Rider Calyrex alt art. Whether the V or the VMAX though, I did pull the V Shadow Rider in a previous Beastie Bix, but let's see what we get in this one. I think still a very worthwhile set to get, or more so a box, and we have Grappaloct Holographic. Not yet curved, the pre-curved form. So if you are familiar with Korean Pokemon cards, especially like holo cards, V cards, they will curve if you leave them out in the heat or the air for too long. So be sure to store them in top loaders if you can. Okay, we have Sableye, we have Zepstrika. Oh, and we have Peonia, very nice. She has a lovely trainer card, which I did pull in Taiwanese. So down to the, less, the last pack for Jet Black Poltergeist, yeah. and then we're on to Silver Lance. I wonder if the order of the packs determine which promo you get because Jet Black was in the front and Silverlands was in the back. Okay, we have Lovely Fog Crystal. Oh, and we have a Tapu Fini. Okay, so a bunch of hollows, which is nice, and one V card. So that's definitely what you can maybe expect from these six packs. Let's see what we get from S6H, Silverlands. Also known as Bakun Widansu. Sounds like bacon, if you guys want to remember that name a little bit better. We have Litleo, we have Rock Roof, Bergmite, we have Sawsbuck. And we have Explorer's Kit. Well, it's not looking too promising right now. It's the first pack. No first aye, pack aye, magic. Aye. Let's see. Watch. We might pull an alt art one day. One of these boxes. The last time I opened one of these special boxes, I had some pretty good luck. So let's see. You never know. Again, don't expect an SR. And we have Frostlass. Very nice holographic. All right. But again, if we don't pull an SR in this, we have a 50% chance of pulling it from the, six, the 15 booster packs. 
from Korean Jet Black Poltergeist. And it's gonna be from a booster box, but I'm just gonna open it, open half of it. So this video is kind of equivalent to opening one booster box, if that makes sense. Now we have lovely Agron with the yellow borders. Alrighty, so, so far just a hollow card out of the three booster packs we've opened so far. And we have our last three silver lands. Let's see what else we can get here. We have Dewebble, we have here Sfeel, Furfro, the fluffy dog. We have an Ace Burn holographic. Very nice with the yellow borders, I have to say. All right, so no Pentum from Jet Black Poltergeist, but we might pull it from the booster box. Again, this is a shorter opening in terms of a box, so that's why I wanted to include a booster box, just to keep it fun. Thank you, Jay, for already preparing that for me. You're welcome. We have Steamy. And we have the big- I'm Trying to be efficient, you know what I mean? Jay is all about efficiency. And then on to the last pack here for Silverlands. Let's see if we can get any V cards. So far, just a couple hollows. So again, guys, don't expect too much from these special boxes. Maybe we'll get some last pack magic though. Let's see. Okay, Rockruff, we have Quillfish. Oh, yes, we got a V card at least. Okay, we have Tornadas, very nice. Tornerosu, that's the Korean name, number 57 out of 70. Very nice though, very saturated as well. And as promised, and also thank you so much to Jay, we have 15 more booster packs, just as a nice little addition to this video. So I hope you guys enjoy this continued opening. And of course, very happy with the Shadow Rider Calyrex, uh, not full art, just the promo from the special box. Again, just simply called the Silver Lance and Jet Black Box. I actually like how simple that is. We have a lovely wheezing with the dark typing, so even though it's So the rates for the box, not the best, it seems. But not the best. Overall, at least you got a V card, right? We got a V card from both sets, two V cards in total, and then the promo card from the V set. So now we're just gonna have fun opening more Jet Black Poltergeist, because I'm still looking for some alt arts from the set. Again, 50% chance of pulling a secret rare. And if it's not in this half, well, I guess you know where the other half, the secret rare is gonna be in the other half of this booster box. And it seems with this booster box too, no promotional cards, but that's okay too, because um, usually that signifies it's the second print run. Usually the first print run has the promotional cards. Um, and also it does come with that special code. Um, I know many of you might be asking for the Nintendo Switch Sword and Shield games. That uh, campaign is also temporary. It should not last for too long. I believe it goes until September. So when I finish opening this pack, oh, we got Metagross, nice. Metagrossu V in Korean, 49 out of 70. Very nice card, let me put this in the sleeve there. So yes, very saturated as well. And if you guys were wondering what I was talking about, this is your little code. It's a little booklet, which is adorable. So I'm gonna show you guys here. Basically you can obtain some prizes, whether it's legendary Pokemon or some items from the actual Switch game. So if you get a booster box of Korean Jet Black or Silverlands, you are entitled to one of those codes. So it's very different from Japanese uh, Shiny Star V only because you would get the codes in almost every pack, or pretty much every pack. Whereas in the Korean booster boxes, you only get one. So that's really interesting. All right, we have the gloves here. And we have the wacky. I love seeing the Korean cards in their pre-curved forms because once they curve, you can't really go back anymore <laughs> at that point. Even if you leave them under a book for a long time, they still tend to curve. Unless somehow you get really lucky and you put it under that textbook or whatever you have that's solid ahead of time. Okay, we have Ampharos. Oh, and Rillaboom, very nice. So much spotlight for Rillaboom and Cinderace previously. Now there's a lot of Inteleon love in the latest sets, especially EV heroes and also the high cost deck. But honestly, I'm still not tired of the set guys. I'm still enjoying Jet Black Holter guys, no matter what the language. Okay, we have Clubopus, we have Peony. Oh, wow! Okay, well, there's our secret rare. I have never pulled Agatha either. Been pulling a lot of rainbows lately. All right. All right, smash the like button for our only secret So that made up for not pulling a secret rare from the box. Exactly, there you go. And that's why I wanted to continue the opening with a lovely uh, half booster box opening. There you go. And then I'll just keep my other packs to myself. So yeah, that's Agatha hyper rare. Very lovely. And if you're wondering about the number, it's 88 out of 70. So definitely part of the secret rares. I'll just finish opening the pack. So just so you guys can see more lovely cards from Korean Jet Black Poltergeist. That's pretty cool though. Even if it's a hyper rare trainer, I just feel happy at least pulling a secret rare because also if you didn't know about the Korean booster boxes, you're not guaranteed a secret rare pull. So when you do pull one, honestly, even if it's not my chase card, I'm very happy to do so because also one thing about the Korean um, secret rare cards, the quality is definitely improving. You, you also agree with me, right, Jay? Oh, yeah. <gasps> and we got Pentom. Right. Pentom yes. is the Korean name for Gengar. In Japanese, it's Gengar. I'm going to pass that to Jay. This is this actually team. like my chase card of the whole set. Right. Like, forget the secret rares, forget the alternative artworks. For me, 
It's just the Gengar. Just the Gengar. Just the Gengar. Because that's, that's how you know it's your favorite Pokemon, right? Yeah. We have Go Lurk. <gasps> and we have Shadow Rider Calyrex. Actually, did not pull this yet, so very happy to do so. Wait. Pretty good box for a Korean box. Very good Korean pretty box. Good. And everything's matching the sleeves, the packs, even my playmat is matching. So On that's point. pretty cool. Budorex is the Korean name. I think also the Japanese name. Hak Hikma. That's, or Hukma, sorry. Hukma is the indication for Shadow Rider. Hukma Budorex. Okay, we have here Garuki, we have Coughing. Almost done though with this 15 packs. It went by pretty quickly in my opinion. And we have Fog Crystal. But also the quality of the VMAX looks really nice in person, I gotta say. The texture will be thicker and also the card quality will be very different from the Japanese cards. It's gonna have yellow borders instead of silver borders. Okay, lovely Sableye, we have Ladian. And also the card stock will feel a lot thicker. And I get a lot of questions asking if these feel like the English cards, they feel a lot different. We have Cobalion Holographic. The cards I'd say feel more sturdy. They're less prone to whitening, although they can whiten, of course, if you apply enough force or drop them, etc. But um, they're more prone to curving and they feel a bit more waterproof in my opinion. And also sometimes the cards stick together depending on the time of the year. Say the summertime, they stick a little bit more. I don't know why. So I call them sticky cards. <laughs> I've been calling them sticky cards for a long time. I don't think that quality of the cardstock is going to go away, but what I can say is the hollow foil is definitely improving, especially if you look at the shine on the secret rare cards. So that's definitely very nice. Okay, we have Cutie Fly, we have Love Disc, we have Palpitoad, Seismitoad as well. Oh, and Octovish with V. So this is part of the main set, number 17 out of 70, everyone's favorite fossil. It's so interesting because its head is literally placed backwards. It's like meant to be like a quirky looking fossil Pokemon. And we're on to the last pack. That's very surprising how fast this was. Hope you guys enjoyed it though. It's really interesting to see how these like special sets in Korea, you know, look like in terms of pull rates. Cause also that's one thing I like about the Korean releases. They keep it unique you know, from Japan meaning. And we have Agatha. Okay, so no last pack magic, but there you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe for more multi-language Pokemon content. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.